level players, not okay. uh, and then swapped to Sephiroth against like the top players. Are you lying to us again, last? No, or this is actually <laughs> true. Ken did say this, uh, and in my own words, he's using Sonic as a pub stomper because Sonic is really, really good at stomping people who aren't good at the matchup. Well, I mean. The way Sonic plays, I don't think anyone's good at the matchup. So uh, we'll see if uh, Ken does this, does the same thing. Um, I mean, Ike is definitely not the fastest character, so Sonic versus Ike, you gotta imagine Sonic's pretty much gonna run circles around him, and a player like Ken is definitely not gonna have a problem doing that. We'll see what Barry can do to kind of combat it. There. So far, he's not been able to get too much going. He's just full hopping in place, looking for this nair, but he does find that first nair. Ken going to get out of dodge with the uh, the spring into air dodge back to the uh, sweet sweet mother uh, mother Terra Terra Firma. I mixed up my idioms there. It's all good. You got it done eventually, and that's really what matters. He got through it <laughs> as uh, Ken's getting through this first stock. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest issues Baron's gonna have is that right there going for the nair, but one Ken is gonna wait for it and punish it out of shield, but then two oh the edge guard so good. Ken, you you sent him off stage once, and that's all it took. Um, but a lot of Ikes want to go for the Nair, and Ken can just charge Spin Dash and wait it out. I mean, back onto stage off of that Angel platform and into just the grab that Ken threw out there, and he's looking to do it again. Tries to go high, tries to cover high, probably expecting the double jump side B, but Baron just holds onto it and manages to make it back to the stage safely, only having taken 47%, now built up to 54. Run up up air from Ken as well. He's just he he's not giving it's, Baron yeah. the chance to do anything. It's it's really interesting watching Ken play because it's like he's fighting a stop sign. He literally runs up to the stop sign, hold shield, waits. He's like, oh, the path's clear now, and then punishes accordingly. He's playing red light, green light, <laughs> yeah, and it's working so well. Red light, green light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baron finally finding that landing there though. Looking to get something started here, but the, the spring just keeps interrupting him, either in terms of getting Ken away from him or in terms of hitting him. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's really difficult, and the dash attacks are really not paying Baron any favors. Ken is holding shield so much that every dash attack is getting punished. Forge map right there does not hit Baron, living on borrowed time at the moment. Got to find a way to get back to stage. Ken just miss, uh, guessing a little bit wrong with the, uh, the spring height. So he doesn't quite catch Baron with it. And this time, the uh, the quick draw actually connects with Ken, sending him up to that top blast zone. F-throw should put him in a bad position. Down throw also puts him in a pretty bad position. Ken, though, just can't actually find this punish on the quick draw. He's missed quite a few times in a row. And that's something really good for Baron. You know, the fact that you are able to recover with that quick draw, but if you do go too low, you know the springs are going to punish that up B. Looking for the uh, the landing nair into the uh, uh, the bear combo that Sonic has at his disposal. That's true for some reason, but I don't think it's true at this high percent. Eventually, it's just going to be the stray hit that does it. Fair, not quite enough, but uh, a back throw here will also do it if Baron isn't careful. Yeah, Baron. Baron's aware. Baron's like, hey, let me roll out he the knows. way. I know the grab's coming. Oh, oh yeah, he up connects. He, oh, he, he doesn't get the the landing hit after. Actually, though, that, that's kind of a lot of damage that was missed out right there by Baron. Yeah, the, uh, the platform kind of saved Ken there a little bit, stopped him from going through the entirety of it, but reverse landing Nair into up air. And he's going to keep going, actually. Baron doing a pretty good job of bringing this back slowly but surely. Wow. He has him in kill range. Just don't dash attack. Oh, no! Ken holding that shield again. Ken is recognizing Baron rarely grabs. So when in doubt, shield it out. And boy, is it paying off dividends. Yeah, it's like one of the biggest things against Ike is that shield is so strong against him, especially if you're a character with like good speed out of shield like Sonic, where like, what's he going to get at that high percent off of a grab? At low percent, sure, he'll get something along the lines of like down throw up air, but at high percent, all he's going to do is take stage control away from you. He's not actually going to get a big punish off of a grab, so you can be relatively comfortable staying in shield, especially because if he whiffs a dash attack like that, you just get to kill him. Yes, absolutely. It's, a, it's very similar to kind of the fox effect. If you don't know what the fox is going to do, hold your shield. You'll be in an awful position, but you won't die. Yeah, all right. Like, it's the it's the lesser of two evils. Yeah. I would rather lose stage control than my stock. And Ken, <laughs> oh. definitely of that mind. And wow. Unfortunate okay. for Baron, going a little bit too low. I think he fast <laughs> fell on accident there to go uh, try and get around Ken. Not going to be able to make it back to the stage. And down he goes. A two stock for Ken. But a four-minute game. Baron held on for a while. He did. Um, and... I Shout out to Baron for actually kind of just making it a lot closer because there were a ton of adjustments that were made. Unfortunately, uh, that attack was not one of the adjustments, <laughs> but there were a lot of adjustments just because of how dominant that first stop was for Ken. 
compared to how that second stock where they kind of start to level out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Baron did a fantastic job over the course of that because it was a long, long game, but he did a course of uh, did a great job over the course of that long, long game, trying to slowly bring that back, making ad uh, adaptations to the way Ken was playing. The one adaptation uh, he didn't make was recognizing when Ken is just going to stay in shield, and you need to either grab him to uh, take control over it, maybe with like a tomahawk, or just reset neutral. For sure, and oh my gosh, Ken already started off to a 50% lead. I mean... Sonics do combo, that's just not what you want. 82 unanswered, Ken just not slowing down by any means. He said the last game was slow, this one's gonna be a hell of a lot faster. 103%, but he does, it, there he goes. He recognizes that Ken's holding shield, maybe maybe he's listening to the stream in his, uh, <laughs> in his headphones. But uh, recognizes that Ken's gonna hold shield, runs in, grabs. Run up, grab, one of the strongest tools against a character like Sonic. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, Sonic still doesn't always land the easiest, so... Putting him in the skies isn't a bad position. It's not like Sonic really has a button that he can land with that you have to be worried about. But that fair coming in, not going to connect. Ken just retreating to the corner and charging up Spin Dash because he knows that Ike isn't really going to be able to contest that. He's just going to have to wait for Ken to decide when they're going to interact again. The back throw sending him deep off stage and not actually able to close it out with the string. Uh, that's going to be a huge reversal for Baron potentially. Yeah, coming back, that spring barely missing, pixels away. Baron struggling to get his feet planted, not able to do it in that stock. He's gone because of it. Ken, I mean, taking that first stock off, not necessarily the fastest stock, but still you're only 63% stellar job. Yeah, it was a minute 30 seconds long, but he didn't really take too much punishment in the exchanges. Going to be able to come, not come back to stage. Did he burn his jump early? I, I didn't see. I was focused on Baron's recovery. That jump was in his chest. I don't know if you saw when the, the player came, he touched his heart. He's like, oh, yeah, what's here? What's here? All good. Now back to an even game. 5% the difference between these two. But really yes. quickly closed by that Aether out of shield. I love seeing that. Uh, yeah, I love seeing that. That was something I was wondering why Baron wasn't pulling the trigger on that option. Maybe there just weren't enough opportunities that presented themselves. But finally using it on Ken. And at least now Ken has to respect him a little bit more. Up throw to try and build a little bit of damage. And this has kind of been the uh, the way that this match has gone so far. Ken does a lot of damage at low percents with a really strong string. And then they get to reset and Baron plays neutral for a while until Ken can finally find that closing hit. Well, I mean, Baron is searching for some, some damage that will really stick on Ken. You know... You have him at 53%, he's nowhere near close to dying, but you know, you win two to three more interactions, the next thing you know, you can actually take the stock first and possibly take the lead. Definitely possible, especially with some of the things that Ike can do to an opponent with no resources in the air. If he catches Ken burning a jump early, a double up air will close this out for certain. But he's got to find Ken in that position, and a player as good as Ken usually doesn't fall victim to tricks of that nature. Quick draw back on to center stage. Puts Ken going up high, but he's able to reset to the corner and just get ready for that burst option again. That Ike, uh, he really can't punish that spin. <laughs> yeah, he's trying for dear life, did not able to do it. Oh, the quick draw! That was in neutral, Fortune did not get punished. Yo, know, technically Ike kind of has a spin dash, quick draw, you know? They're, <laughs> yeah, they're, I'm with they're, it. Oh, he doesn't have that move. Quick draw definitely not going to save him from that. <laughs> in Kudos to Ken for not really showing his hand with that option. He's not really running off stage with a forward air, so Baron just did not expect that option at all, and that's why I think he was caught off guard. Now he's been uh, been keeping his cards close to the chest so far. Been mostly just going for that high spring edge guard instead of actually committing to anything, but when it really matters, he's going to be able to do that runoff fair, like you said, and claim a relatively early stock. Baron, oh. I mean, what do you do at this point last? Now he's got to find a kill now. Like if he if he takes that much more punishment or this back throw edge guard, he's kind of, like his chances of taking this game are dwindling by the second. But forcing out that air dodge is a phenomenal way to get it started. Yeah, I can't believe Ken gave that air dodge so willy nilly. Baron taking it all the way to the bank does not change the fact though. You're at 130 percent. A fourth match will take it. Ooh, back air didn't even realize it was on the table. Ike not that heavy. Ken taking it. Ike is that heavy. Back air is just that strong. <laughs> And Ken, fully aware of that fact, finding the back air, sending him into the 